out what's new in the automotive world with the return of the Buffalo Auto Show at the Convention Center. The family friendly event gives car enthusiasts or just people who need a new car ways to check out what's new on the road and the future of driving. Also, Daybreak's Kevin O'Neill has a preview for us this morning. The shiniest show in town is back. The Buffalo Auto Show is parked at the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center today through Sunday. I was here Wednesday when they were assembling the signage and polishing the fenders. For some Western New Yorkers, the show is an annual trip. Some only come when they're in the market for new wheels. If you are shopping online for a vehicle, make sure you visit the auto show. So they can get in it, they can feel it. Mm -hmm. The legs fit, they fit in the car. Are the blind sides good? Mm -hmm. How's the dashboard? Can I reach the radio? The little things that we take for granted that if you buy online after, you can't correct. That's Paul Stasiak, president of the Niagara Frontier Auto Dealers Association. Lots of cars here for sale and some that are not. Not sure what the price tag would be for this SWAT vehicle. Looks pretty sweet for tailgating, though. And a reminder, fellas, Valentine's Day is around the corner. Flowers and chocolates are okay, but this year, tell her you love her with Maserati. Yes, just imagine my wife's face when I surprise her with a half million dollar car. Anyway, take a look at these street legal golf carts that can reach 35 miles per hour. The auto show is 1 to 9 today and Friday, 10 to 10 Saturday, and 10 to 5 on Sunday. More and more people seem to be kicking the tires on electronic vehicles. People are asking a tremendous amount of questions. We will have professionals that are not necessarily dealers. We'll have New York Power Authority, National Grid, NYSERDA, other vendors talking about anything you need to know about EVs. Tickets are 10 bucks. You could buy them and see all the event info online at buffaloautoshow.com. Celebrating Western New York, I'm Kevin O'Neill, Channel 2 News.